Here in the DMV, we're keeping a close eye on conditions. Our Joy Wang is live in Roslyn right now with how you can stay safe. You see Joy has the mask on. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Good morning. I do have the mask on because experts recommend that if you are going to be out for a extended period of time, this is the way to go. Of course, the best thing you can do is to stay inside. And I was looking at some of those visuals from New York yesterday and I was noticing you couldn't see a lot of those landmarks because the air quality was just so bad. And get this right here in the DMV. You're seeing that Lincoln Memorial behind me, but right next to it, the Washington Monument and standing from where I am, you can see just the faint outline of it. But earlier as the sun was coming up, it seemed like it had been erased from the skyline here. And so that just gives you a better idea of just how terrible that air quality is out here right now as we were entering that code red. And as Eileen was saying, even possibly code purple conditions. But let's get you to some video from yesterday. Our drone photographer, Mike Rudd, showing you what the haze looks like from a distance. He went to the Plains, Virginia and Stafford, Virginia to get these shots. And that again gives you a good idea of what that code red air quality looks like, which is what we were seeing earlier this morning as well. Now I spoke with a pulmonologist about what to do, and he says even if you don't have any underlying heart or lung conditions or asthma, code red means we should all be staying inside. If not, we're likely to experience symptoms like watering eyes, coughing, shortness of breath, fatigue, headaches, and even chest pain from that poor air quality. It's okay to go outside for short periods of time. If you notice you're starting to have some symptoms, then I recommend that you spend time, go inside. Um, again, making sure your windows are closed and that your um, air conditioning is on and doors are closed is very critical during these time periods. If you are dealing with some of those symptoms like watery eyes, make sure when you get inside, wash your face. And if the symptoms don't get better, you are going to want to go see a doctor. Now, I was talking about my photographer, Mike Rudd, a little bit earlier. He also has some of those underlying health conditions when it comes to his lungs. He brought his inhaler with him as well. He was using it yesterday. He's going to have to use it again today. So if you need any sort of medication, keep that on hand. But again, the best thing you can do is to stay indoors Keep that AC on, close your windows, and if you have to go outside, make sure to put one of these N95 masks on. Live here in Northwest, Joy Wang, 7 News.